بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله کے نام سے شروع جو نہایت مہربان ہمیشہ رحم فرمانے والا ہے جب اللہ کی مدد اور فتح آ پہنچے اور آپ لوگوں کو دیکھ لیں کہ وہ اللہ کے دین میں جوک در جوک داخل ہو رہے ہیں تو آپ تشکر اپنے رب کی حمد کے ساتھ تسبیح فرمائیں اور توازن اس سے استغفار کریں بے شک وہ بڑا ہی توبہ قبول فرمانے والا اور مزید رحمت کے ساتھ رجوع فرمانے والا ہے
إِذْ بَعَثَ فِيهِمْ رَسُولًا مِنْ أَنفُسِهِمْ يَتْلُو عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِهِ وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ وَيُعَلِّمُهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةَ وَإِنْ كَانُوا مِنْ قبل لفي ضلال مبين نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على سيدنا ومولانا محمد رسوله النبي الأمين المكين الحنين الكريم الرؤوف الرحيم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم وقال الله تبارك وتعالى في مقام آخر ومن يطع الله والرسول فأولئك مع الذين أنعم الله عليهم من النبيين والصديقين والشهداء والصالحين وحسن أولئك رفيقا ذلك الفضل من الله وكفى بالله عليما صدق الله مولانا العظيم dear teachers students and participants of this session alhamdulillah taala by the grace of almighty allah we are discussing today the subject of significance of martyrdom of sayyidina imam hussein the basic point which i would elaborate and explain to you that is the real secret of martyrdom of imam hussein and real philosophy of martyrdom of sayyidina imam hussein i am not taking the subject of philosophy of shahada in general philosophy of martyrdom in general or significance of martyrdom in general this is not the subject we are going to discuss today so the subject for today is very specific in connection of martyrdom of sayyidina imam hussein its secret and philosophy and significance of this martyrdom in particular the basic thing which you have to keep in your mind is to me this shahada of sayyidina imam hussein radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu alayhi salam this is in fact a chapter of seera of holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wasallam yani shahada of sayyidina imam hussein is martyrdom is a chapter of the seera of holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so this in fact apparently this is the shahada and martyrdom of sayyidina imam hussein but in reality this is a part and parcel of the blessed seera of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in reality This shahada is the part and parcel of the blessed seera of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So this is a new idea 
for many people seems to be a new idea for many people and this idea is not an innovation created by me I have just elaborated this idea and primarily I have taken this idea from Shah Abdul Aziz Muhaddis Dehlavi the great son of the great Imam Shah Waliullah Muhaddis Dehlavi Shah Waliullah Muhaddis Dehlavi his son Shah Abdul Aziz Muhaddis Dehlavi he has written a book on this subject its name is Sirru Shahadatain the secret of two martyrdoms he has already discussed this basic concept and basic idea in that book I am substantiating the same elaborating the same with Quranic references with references of the Hadith of Holy Prophet and I have given interpretation and more explanation and more elaboration to that brief idea and he has also based this idea on many ahadith of Holy Prophet which we will discuss during our lecture the question is that why and how martyrdom of Sayyidina Imam Hussain is to be considered as a chapter of seerah of Prophet Muhammad so in order to understand this secret and this philosophy we start this subject from this Quranic verse the verse of Surah Al-Fatiha which I have recited and the verse of Surah An-Nisa verse number 69 where Almighty Allah has stated وَمَنْ يُتِئِ اللَّهَ وَالرَّسُولُ فَأُولَٰئِكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ and whoso obeys Almighty Allah and his messenger obeys Prophet Muhammad صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم الرسول his blessed messenger they will be in the company of those on whom Allah has conferred his favors and blessings those who obey and follow the commandments of Almighty Allah and follow the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad they will definitely get the spiritual company of those who have been favored and blessed by Almighty Allah those on whom Almighty Allah has conferred his blessings and divine favors and who are these people they are the Minan Nabi Jeen, they are the prophets, was Siddiqeen, and they are the truthful people and the saints too. They are the saintly, truthful people, was Shuhada, and they are the martyrs, was Salihin and they are the righteous and pious people they are awliya salihin the righteous people friends of almighty allah and the pious ones wahasuna ulaika rafiqa and what an excellent company are they in need this is an excellent company so in this quranic verse Almighty Allah has explained that if somebody obeys the commands of Almighty Allah and the commands of Holy Prophet 
or somebody follows the sunnah and seerah of Holy Prophet and follows the footsteps of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam obeying the commands of Almighty Allah he will be granted with specific blessed position he would be rewarded with specific blessings and divine favors because of his following of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam because he has been obedient to holy prophet and he has been following the footsteps of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so because of this following he will be granted with very specific divine favor or very specific position he would be granted with a very sp specific special spiritual company and this specific spiritual company would be of those people who are already favored divinely favored and blessed by almighty allah next question is who are those who are divinely favored and blessed by almighty allah then this quranic verse explains this thing the who are those who are known to be the divinely blessed an amallahu alaihim who are those known to be an amallahu alaihim fa ulaika ma'alladhina they will get the followers of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam will get a very special divine company spiritual company of the blessed people and who are the blessed and favored people they are four in number four categories have been mentioned the people following in these four categories they are the specially favored and blessed people and these four categories are number 1 the prophets and messengers number 2 the truthful saints number 3 the martyrs and number 4 the pious and righteous people an nabiyyin was siddiqin was shuhada was salihin so these are the four categories of the blessed people now deriving from this division or mentioning of these four categories of the blessed and favored people we can easily derived and we can easily understand from that that the highest blessings and favors of almighty allah are of four kinds as are these four categories so these categories indicate and these categories tell us that almighty allah he has numerous blessings on his creature on his people numerous uncountable blessings and favors which he confers and showers on the people but the highest divine blessings and divine favors are four in number basing on the idea of this division into four categories so the highest blessings ni'mah in amat ilahiya allah's blessings and favors are four in number an nubuwa this is the prophethood because the first top most category of the blessed and favored people is prophets so prophethood should be known as the top most neema the top most divine favor and blessing of almighty allah which he ever confers on his people so if he confers the neema of nubuwa of on someone he become definitely the blessed one he becomes the favored one and the second divine favor and divine blessing is 
Siddiqiyya. This is derived from a Siddiqeen. Truthfulness. Sainthood. Or saintly truthfulness. Saintly truthfulness. So this ni'mah is because of a Siddiqeen. They are the blessed and favored people. This is the second category. Third ni'mah expressly and specifically mentioned here is a shahada. Martyrdom. So this is the third ni'mah, blessing. A shahada. Because the third category mentioned in here is the martyrs, a shahada. And the fourth great ni'mah of Almighty Allah, the fourth great blessing and favor of Almighty Allah is as salihiyyah piety and righteousness. Because the fourth category mentioned here is as salihin So salihiyyah would be the fourth great ni'mah, favor and blessing of Almighty Allah. So Almighty Allah has categorized his ni'mah, an ni'matul azimah, his great ni'mah into four kinds. And four people who were conferred upon by that particular ni'mah, four kinds of, four categories of people have been declared to be the most, top most favored and blessed people. Anamallahu alayhim minan nabiyyina wa siddiqina wa shuhadai wa salihin. Meaning thereby that four great blessings and favors have been conferred upon the people, and these great blessings and favors which I conferred upon my blessed people are.